Hi guys, welcome back again sa ating YouTube channel no The Action Man. Una sa lahat, may grab shout out po sa lahat na makakamping at sa mga hindi man makakamping. Kung interesado ka sa video ito, patapusin mo na hanggang dulo at huwag nyo nang kalimutan na i-like at i-share ang ating video para malaman naman ang iilan sa ating mga kababayan na nagtutulog-tulugan sa katotohanan. So may gusto lang po ako na i-share sa inyo mga ka-action no, about po ito sa one-on-one -on -one interview ng Uh, di Ateneo, di Iloilo po mga kaksyon Hindi ko po alam kung sila po ay estudyante ng di Iloilo O kung kaya uh, professor ng di Ateneo, di Iloilo po mga kaksyon no? Pero bago ko po iparinig sa inyo ang voice over Voice over lang po bilang pagrespeto sa uh, ating isang kakamping Yan po si Hope Nation TV po mga kaksyon Siya po ay sulid na kakamping Dahil mga kay Attorney Lenny Robredo o mga kaganapan ni Attorney Lenny Robredo ang kanyang mga upload dahil atin po siya sinuri po mga kakson siya po ay may subscriber na 585 po at nakapag subscribe na din po ako at kung gusto nyo po makita ang video po talaga puntahan nyo po ang Hope Nation TV po doon nyo po makikita ang video nito dito po sa atin voice over lang po ha bilang pag respeto po sa kanya please naman subscribe naman po at pakisuporta naman po ng isang kakamping natin kasi 585 pa lang po ang kanyang subscriber maraming maraming salamat po no sugurin nyo na po mga kaksyon okay pakinggan na po natin itong napakagandang interview at sagot ni attorney Lenny Robredo at magandang tanong ng mga di Ateneo di Iloilo po mga kaksyon o eto na po mga kaksyon ha simulan na po natin makinig na po tayo ayan tumahimik na po tayo dyan o oh, makinig na makinig <laughs> And of course, for our first question, Attorney, can you please tell us what Angat Buhay is all about and what was the inspiration behind it? Angat Buhay is actually an anti-poverty program. Um, we started it in October of 2016, a few months after I assumed office as Vice President. And the reason why we decided to put up Angat Buhay is that Um, if you are familiar with the constitutional provision, um, the vice president does not have any mandate aside from succession. And we felt that it would be a waste, you know, six years would be a waste if we will just be doing ceremonial work because that, that is what the, the, the vice president is ex expected to do. We wanted to um, reinvent the office of the vice president into a more advocacy-heavy office. So we decided to launch Angat Buhay. So, Angat Buhay became the core program of the Office of the Vice President. Um, we had six pillars at that time. So, education, public health, nutrition, and food security, rural development, women empowerment, and um, housing. So, that was what we were focused on in the six years that I was Vice President. So, after my term of office, we decided to convert the program into an NGO um, so that we could continue the work that we were doing. Oh, that's some interesting information about the background of Angat Buhay Attorney. I well, that makes sense. And <laughs> of course, based on Attorney Lani's answer, we can really see kung ano talaga yung inspiration uh, behind Angat Buhay Foundation, and which is one of the reasons why Attorney Lani's organization is indeed successful and has helped a lot of lives. So, grab it talaga, partner. This question has already made me curious, right? Yeah. Yeah, and speaking of which, our curiosity leads us to the next question. Attorney, how do you manage angat buhay effectively? Um, you know, it's it was not easy at the start because um, we were very aware that um, the office of the vice president did not have funds for programs because of the mandate of our office. Um, the 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 office is one of the smallest budgets in the entire bureaucracy and the budget for the office of the vice president was mainly for the operations of the office so there was no budget for our programs we had to conceptualize ang atbuhay uh, where uh, we have placed the office as a sort of a conduit between communities needing help and organizations wanting to help so so in other words parang we were dependent on private sector support Uh, for all our programs for Angat Buhay. And uh, we were very aware that um, in order for us to get private sector support, we have to prove that we were trustworthy as, a, as an office. So, we were when we were When we were just starting at the office of the Vice President, um, we applied to ISO certification. The ISO is the international standards that 
if, if you get that certification, you you show people that you are serious about the the work that you are doing, that the processes in the office is up to to standards. So we we targeted our ISO certification within one year after we assumed office, and we were able to get that. After we we were given an ISO certification, our next target was we had to have the highest COA audit rating. New uh, COA is Commission on Audit. Um, yung, yung audit rating shows if you are trustworthy as an office, if you are using your funds in the in the in, in the best way possible. So so when we targeted that, the second year of operations at the office, we were able to get the highest COA audit rating, and we have been getting that until I I um, I ended my term as vice president. So it it was difficult because we had to do a lot of. You know, spring cleaning uh, as far as the processes, the operations of the office of the vice president was. But we were able to prove to people that we were trustworthy. So, no nagawa namin yun, madali na lahat. Madali na lahat because if people trust you, um, gusto nila makipag partner sa yung. So, we ended up with a lot of partners and we were lucky that we are able to sustain the operations of Angat Buhay now that it is an NGO. Because our relationship with with our partners was really based on that trust. So, pinakamahalaga yon. Uh, when you are doing um, when when you are doing uh, the kind of work that we do, importante na may tiwala sa yon yung mga yung private sector. Because otherwise, bakit sila mag mag-release ng resources kung kung hindi nila sigurado that um, their help would go to the communities uh, who need them the most. So it was the most it was the most challenging thing. Uh, trying to prove that you are trustworthy, but after that, we were able we were able to show them that not only were we trustworthy, but our programs were very effective, very efficient, very inclusive, very empowering to the communities. So to So so yun ano lang. Um, I I am also lucky that I get to work with very very young people uh, who are very passionate, who are very creative, who are very innovative. So most of the programs that we are doing now, it is because of them. Um, hindi yun dahil sa akin. Um, I, I, we are able to uh, do so much with so little because um, the people I work with are, you know, are have, have the energy to really um, put in the the kind of work that we, we are doing day by day. So yun na po mga kaaksyon, mga kakamping, no, napakinggan na po natin ang magandang tanong at magandang sagot ni Atty. Lenny Robredo. Ayan, sa lahat po ng di Ateneo di Iloilo, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo at miga 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 love shout out po sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay po kayo sa patuloy niyong paninindigan dito sa ating minamahal na Atty. Lenny Robredo. Ayan po, uulitin ko po mga kaaksyon, mga kakamping. Paki-subscribe naman po ng ating isang kakamping, solid na kakamping na Hope Nation TV no. Dagdagan po natin ang kanyang subscriber. Please lang po mga kaksyon. Ang babait niyo po talaga. <laughs> no? Thank you, thank you po sa mag-subscribe at sa magsugod ng kanyang channel no, mga kaksyon. So yun lang po mga kaksyon, gin-share ko lang po sa inyo ang kaganapan ng di Ateneo di Iloilo sa kanilang one-on-one -on -one interview. Muli, ako po ay lubos-lubos nagpapasalamat at sa hindi pa po nakapag-subscribe sa ating YouTube channel Please don't forget to subscribe para ma-update po kayo sa ating mga new video na i-upload po dito. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you for watching. Good evening everyone.